What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you the most broken hack on the American Express Gold Card and how I'm getting over $300 in value with only one credit. Because as we all know, this card has the two famous credits, the $10 dining credit and the $10 Uber credit every single month, totaling $240 in value, so about a $10 annual fee difference there, as the Gold Card has a $250 annual fee. But this one hack alone makes one of those credits worth over $300. You're not making up that annual fee. And so like I said, this is from one of the credits, specifically the dining credit. So it's not a hack involving the Amex offers or using your points for outsized value with transfer partners. We already know about all that fun stuff, which they are some great tips, but this is a specific hack that gets you insane value just with the dining credit. All right, so straight up, what is the hack? Well, basically the hack is using the dining credit specifically with Grubhub and using the Grubhub guarantee perk that comes with Grubhub, which basically means if you find a price cheaper on a competing app, now I do believe that means like a delivery service app, for example, not a specific restaurant's food app. But if you do find that cheaper price on a competing delivery service app, then Grubhub will actually give you a credit with the difference in that price, as well as an additional $5 on top of that. So for example, if the difference in price was $5, you'll get the $5 plus an additional $5, so $10 in total in credits. Now, as you can tell, this is a pretty niche hack. You know, it's very specific, so you might do a little bit of work to make it work, but if you can do that work, then you can get some insane value. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I do on how I get this to work and get some crazy value with it. So thank you to the Adventure Discord, specifically CredWallet in that Discord who showed me this hack. He listed out the steps and the process to do this in the Discord, and so I'll have some screenshots of that on the screen. But basically, he taught me what I needed to do, and I otherwise would have no idea this existed, so shout out to you guys. But uh, otherwise, let's get into those steps and see exactly what you need to do. So of course, you have to have the gold card, and then you use that dining credit at Grubhub. And then pretty much from that point, you just need to find a restaurant at Grubhub as well as another delivery service app. And specifically, the price on Grubhub has to be more expensive than one of the competitors. Once you find that restaurant, and in my case, that restaurant is Chipotle, where Uber Eats, Chipotle is the exact same price as if I was ordering in-store or on the Chipotle app, whereas Grubhub, there's some additional fees. The bowl itself or the burrito is upcharged, and so overall, it costs like over $3 more on Grubhub compared to Uber Eats. So what I do is I go through the ordering process on both apps, so Grubhub as well as Uber Eats. And I'm only going to submit the final order on Grubhub because once you submit that order, and you see, you know, 15 minutes remaining, it shows the tracking process. There's going to be a little button that shows Grubhub Guarantee. Click on that Grubhub Guarantee. It's going to ask you what competitor had the lower price. So in this case, it's going to be Uber Eats. Click on that. It's then going to ask you the price it was on Uber Eats, as well as like two other questions that are optional, but I've never filled those out. So just ignore them uh, and put the price it was on the competing app. So in my case, I believe it was 10.06. I'll put that in and then press next. And all it's going to ask for is proof of the cheaper price on the different app. So then you go back to Uber Eats, like I mentioned, where you go through the full process to, to order that same exact meal. So the exact same meal, same toppings and everything at the exact same location. Take a screenshot of that that shows the final price and the meal you're ordering, and then include that screenshot in the Grubhub guarantee form. Once you have the screenshot in there, just press submit and literally like overnight, that same night, you're gonna get an email from Grubhub saying if you're approved or denied, I've always been approved, I've had no issues with it before. And in that approval email, you're gonna get a discount code that you can use for a future order at Grubhub. And that code is gonna include the price differential between the two apps, as well as the additional $5. And what's nice is Grubhub is actually going to round up that price to the nearest dollar. So in this case, it was like just over $3, I believe, in difference. But instead of giving me $3 and so and so cents, they give me $4 plus the $5 that's guaranteed. So $9 in total. So just like that, you now have a $9 coupon you can use on Grubhub for any future order, but it doesn't end there. What's even better about this Grubhub guarantee hack is that once you have that $9 discount code, you can actually go in and order the exact same thing or wherever you want to order it and then use the discount code and also use the Grubhub guarantee again, even with the discount code and Grubhub is going to use the retail price before you add discount code. So for example, if I'm doing the exact same Chipotle order, I'm going to go in, but I'm also going to include that $9 discount code. So I'm only going to pay, you know, three something dollars. But right as I pay the three something dollars and then I see, you know, 15 minutes or whatever for your next until your order is ready. Same thing. Click on the Grubhub guarantee. Go through the exact same form I did before using pretty much the exact same screenshot. And they're going to approve me again for the exact same amount because they're using the retail price from Grubhub of 13, whatever it is. 
instead of the discounted price after I use the discount code. So then again, I'm gonna get the exact same $9 discount. I can just repeat the process over and over and over again. Now this ties in beautifully with the MX Gold card because as we all know, we have that $10 credit we can use on Grubhub, of course. So on the first month, you will have to pay the full retail price because you have to submit that Grubhub guarantee. So you pay, you know, the 13 something dollars, submit the Grubhub guarantee, you'll get a $10 credit back on your MX Gold, whatever, we're all used to that. Then on the second month, you'll actually already have the $9 discount code as long as you haven't used it, of course. And then you can go in do the exact same thing on that second month, use the discount code. So you're only paying, you know, three or $4 and then submit the Grubhub guarantee again, and then repeat that process. Like I mentioned, and Amex will give you a statement credit for the three or $4 on that first one. You do it again, that same exact month. And they'll give you another credit because you haven't hit that $10 mark yet. Do it again for a third time. And now you'll finally hit that three or that $10 mark. And then, you'll have maxed out the $10 credit and paid, you know, two or $3 in your own money afterwards, but that's not a big deal. The reason that's not a big deal is because you just got three Chipotle orders, which the total value for that is, you know, 30 ish dollars. And you only paid $12 because of the $10 credit that you technically prepaid for. And then $2 in cash that month to top off the remaining one. Cause you know, if you're paying $4 in the first one, you'll get a $4 statement credit. Do it again, another $4 statement credit that totals $8. So you have $2 remaining with that statement credit. So you do it again, you now pay another $4. MX will pay you $2 of that back because you now hit that $10 mark. You just pay $2 of your own cash, no big deal. You now have three Chipotle orders that total $3 in value and you only paid $12. And so, like I said, with that one credit alone, you're paying $250 for the annual fee, but you're getting $320 in value if you do that every single month. So just like that, one single credit has now paid off the annual fee for the MX Gold. You still have that Uber credit you can use for whatever it may be, food, an actual Uber drive, who knows what you want to use it for. And then you saw the Amex offers, you saw pointing news with American Express and get some outsized value with their transfer partners. I mean, it's an endless cycle. So as you can see, you can really hack the system there, but you may be thinking, okay, well, what if my Chipotle is the exact same price as Grubhub? Or what if I just don't like Chipotle? How else can I use this hack? Well, of course, you can do some digging yourself and just see if there's any restaurants on Grubhub that are cheaper on a different service. Or what you can also do is use a discount code or an offer or whatever it may be on another service that Grubhub doesn't have. And Grubhub will still give you that difference. So for example, if Uber Eats has a 20% off discount code for whatever the reason may be, if it's the exact same price normally between Grubhub and Uber Eats, but then you use that 20% off discount code, Uber Eats will actually still honor that difference because they don't know or they don't care about the offer that's on Uber Eats. They just see that the price is indeed cheaper. So they're going to give you that difference in price plus the additional $5. So, you know, quite often I'll see a 40% discount on Uber Eats where it's like a delivery order over like $15. So if you already have food delivered to you and then you use Uber Eats, that 40% discount, instead of actually using Uber Eats to show the total discounted price from Uber Eats, on the Grubhub guarantee perk, and they'll give you that same difference, the 20%, 40%, whatever it may be, plus the additional $5. Then because you technically didn't use the offer on Uber Eats, it's still gonna be there. So you can do it again for the next order and again for the next order until that offer finally expires. So there are still definitely ways to, you know, hack or game the system and find ways to make it cheaper on a different app and then get that Grubhub guarantee as Grubhub seems to be pretty flexible or lenient with that perk. Maybe they're more lenient in my case because I actually have Grubhub Plus, which this is another hack. I didn't pay for Grubhub Plus, but they're partnered with Amazon. So if you have Amazon Prime, which I'm sure a lot of you already do, if you link your Grubhub and your Amazon accounts together, then you'll get Grubhub Plus for free. But what's nice with Grubhub Plus is if you do a pickup order instead of a delivery order, you'll actually get a 5% credit back to your Grubhub account just for doing a pickup. That's normally what I do because I don't really want to pay you know, the taxes and fees and tips and all that stuff. So I'll just do a pickup just like I would normally pick up any other food outside of Grubhub. And then from there, I'll get a 5% back credit. And so on top of that $9 discount, I usually get, you know, like 60 cents back in credit on top of that, thanks to Grubhub Plus, And maybe I'm getting better service because of it too. I don't know, but it just adds on to that perk. And I didn't pay a single dime for Grubhub Plus. So as you can see, there are some serious ways to get some really good value with the MX Gold. And this is after I was already okay with keeping the gold open without using this hack. I recently already made a video on the Amex Gold and that I decided to keep it open. And that's just with the normal $10 credits, both of them, so 240 total, which I was actually getting a little bit less than that because for example, on Grubhub, without the Grubhub guarantee, I was paying 
an additional $3 to get Chipotle compared to just buying it directly from them. So I was actually getting less value. So my effective annual fee wasn't even $10. It was probably closer to like 40 bucks. But I still made that up with the MX offers or using the points for some outsized value. I was okay with paying that somewhat higher effective annual fee that most people say. Um, but this just takes it to a whole new level. I'm now getting paid a ton of money and getting more meals than I was before. Now you may be thinking, am I actually eating Chipotle four times a week? Like, was I doing that before this hack? Technically, no. I was probably eating, you know, maybe twice a month. But again, that was because I had to pay money for Chipotle, so I didn't want to pay, you know, an extra 10 or 20 bucks for more Chipotle meals. In this case, I'm only paying $2 extra than what I normally would have paid beforehand with four meals compared to the normal two meals. I'm getting two additional meals for $2, so basically $1 a meal. In that case, I'm more than happy to go to Chipotle four times instead of twice a month. Plus, it works out because one, I love Chipotle, and two, I just got a new job. We're going to be in office more often. And so it's just easier to go pick up Chipotle for $1 compared to, you know, something else that costs more or bringing my own food, whatever it is, because I already love Chipotle anyway, so might as well. But that is something that you will have to factor in in your own case. Like, would you have gone to that restaurant four times in the same month? I don't know. So keep that in mind for your own specific scenario. But for me, it works out fantastic. So as of now, I'm definitely going to keep the gold card open. We've all heard some rumblings that, you know, MX is going to increase that fee from 250 to 325, 350, 375. They might add some more credits to it, make the existing credits even more convenient. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. As of now, as it stands, at least, I would keep the gold card open. But if they increase the fee and don't add much to it, I'd maybe still keep it open thanks to this hack. Uh, but if they change the dining credit to where it's not possible to do this hack and the other credits aren't that good, then I might have to cancel. We'll have to wait and see. But let me know down below if you guys are using this hack already or if you're going to use this hack in the future. Maybe it works out for you as well. Let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if this was some new information for you. If you want to see some more credit card and travel award redemption videos in the future. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today and I will catch you in the next one.